Some sperm donors have to pay child support. Back in 2018, I was artificially inseminated because I'm a lesbian and I wanted kids, right? So me and my girlfriend decided that we were going to go find a donor and have a kid that way. When we broke up, she said that she had no legal obligation to this child and she didn't want to be the parent anymore. As long as it's a legal donation. Now, if you just did something with somebody and it's your friend or whatever, hey, you know what? Y'all got to work that out. But if you went through a sperm bank they are not legally responsible to take care of those chat those children they are not legally they, they don't even go on the birth certificate none of that yeah so i don't even know why she thinks that and i'm pretty sure if she would have read the documentation that the that the agency gave her it would it would have pointed that out as well yeah i mean so where, oh, where we at where we are we at number four we, yeah we at number four go. and not i got prepared. it i got there it go. ready. not prepared yeah, man. Nah, it's ready. I got it ready, woman. Got it ready. This joint podcast. We in the building. <laughs> what? What you say, CJ? We in the building. Yeah. All right. Video number four. He, wait a minute. Quick. You hear him? He got that. He got that. No. no. That Barry. That Barry voice. That, no. That. I, don't, not, I don't have that, the baritone. That ain't me. He's trying to get back to that laid back. Uh, like That's called the panty dropper. <laughs> that's, that's what I was about to say. That's the voice that he be talking. Hey, like, that's hey, the panty what dropper. You, what you doing? Would you like me to be? <laughs> hey. I could be Siri on your phone. Mm-hmm. Instead of Siri. Like you that. coming over tonight? Whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Hey, y'all turned this into the quiet storm. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Damn. Oh man, video number four. So we got a lesbian. Can we say? Can we say the L word? No, we can't say the L word. Uh, thesbian. Okay, yeah, all right. No, we can say. We're that. sorry, YouTube. You can, no, you can say that. You can say that. We're gonna stick with that. Uh, we're just be safe. So we got a. We have a thesbian <laughs> <laughs> that's trying to get child support from the sperm donor. Don't donor donor <laughs> after mm. her girlfriend broke up with her. So wait a minute. We have a yeah. thespian, a thespian who is trying to get child support yep. from the sperm donor yep. that she got the, that she had to conceive the child. Yep. I thought I heard after it her all. and her her girlfriend broke up. I thought I didn't hear it all. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Let's let Pina nope. kick this off. Ain't no such thing as heard at all, <laughs> especially when it comes to the destroyed podcast. <laughs> Let's go. Why don't sperm donors have to pay child support? Back in 2018, I was artificially inseminated because I'm a lesbian and I wanted kids, right? So me and my girlfriend decided that we were going to go find a donor and have a kid that way. When we broke up, she said that she had no legal obligation to this child and she didn't want to be the parent anymore. Of course, I was like, whatever, that's fine. Uh, just give me you know, some child support. And she said, did you not hear me? I have no legal obligation to this child. I'm not going to pay child support. So now I'm trying to get the sperm donor to pay child support because biologically he is my daughter's parent. So I want him to give me his half. I don't know what to do at this point. I just think it's really messed up that somebody can just go donate sperm and then have nothing else to do with the kid that comes from it. Can I just say something real quick? Right, go, ahead, go, go ahead, say something. And then I'm gonna let you say something. Yeah. And then I'm gonna follow up. Uh -huh. How come McDonald's don't pay for my toilet paper when they food give me diarrhea? What? <laughs> How come McDonald's is not just responsible don't, just don't to, eat eat to pay for my toilet paper because they food give me diarrhea? That's the same thing she just said. That makes no sense. Go ahead. Makes no sense at all. <laughs> now wait. Now, Pete, I had to look this up. So in Pennsylvania, I'm wondering, in Pennsylvania, sperm donors are not required to pay child support. For children conceived with their sperm, even if the donation, hold on, let me, let me, let me, even if the donation was not anonymous, the Supreme yeah, Court has I, ruled. It's a contract. Yeah. Like they're they're not legally responsible to 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 just like the child. Like once the child is born, they're not legally responsible to to any heir of that that nah, uh, donor it, yeah. estate or anything like that is is a is what it's it, exactly what it is a donation i didn't ask now, now, you now, to take if like you said the contract between two people conceive children through intercourse and that the contract is entered into before conception and yeah. i looked that up because i thought that no no matter what contract you have if you are the sperm donor or the child or the the Father of that no. child, you got to pay. No, no, they're not responsible. Yeah, they, like, they, oh, signed, they signed those. They <clears throat> signed those those contracts and those agreements with the the agency. As long as it's a legal donation. Now, if you just did something with somebody and it's your friend or whatever, hey, you know what? Y'all got to work that out. But if you went through a sperm bank, 
they are not legally responsible to take care of those chat those children they are not legally they, they don't even go on the birth certificate none of that yeah so i don't even know why she thinks that and i'm pretty sure if she would have read the documentation that the that the agency gave her it would it would have pointed that out as well yeah. she, she's slow at the end yeah. of the day she's slow because it just don't even make sense because <laughs> again they don't you did not you could have picked Tyrone's sperm, you could have picked uh Doogie Hauser's sperm, it could have been anybody. So how you going you're the one choosing. You chose this sperm. So how you going to try to make me out to be the the, the I got to pay now because you because chose my we, sperm. Well, because your relationship broke up. No, I'm talking yeah, about the donor. Saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not like she's trying to make him baby because their relationship broke up. Yeah, and that's not and that's the, not their fault. Yeah, yeah, the the People other woman donate. is not obligated now. right people no. people people would have the people have to realize is people donate to help people in situations and her situations like that mm -hmm. let's say for women that have hard times you know conceiving or, or their men husband, who have sperm or count. husbands that have a hard time or boyfriends whatever the case may be so those donations help families and people like her or like that you and, and and once they give that donation they are completely separated from the any obligation whatsoever yeah well yeah because i isn't isn't it true because i'm i'm unsure about this isn't it true that that the donor don't know where his sperm went no i don't so, think they do so tell for, them. yeah they don't tell him so wouldn't that be like an emotional roller coaster if somebody just knock on your door and be like well, you now you got to pay child. What? Yeah, but st no, they can't. They can't force them. And at the end of the day, how would they even find out where did the sperm come from? Where did it come yeah, from? Yeah, they don't give yeah. you. They can't give because you the personal the, information. Because the, yeah, the the bank doesn't give that information out unless somebody works there and then you know you know um giving information that they're not supposed to. Yeah, it, 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 listen, it sounds like white privilege to me. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That just sounds like some old privilege. Oh, just because I right know you have to help me. No, yeah. you chose to get into a relationship with a thespian and then conceive a child that that other thespian said, listen, I don't want no parts of this. So guess what? Then you should have did it once y'all got married and then they would have been legally responsible. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just it, it's just messed up because your relationship didn't work. So now you have to take care of a child on your I mean, own the, the scenario could be that can be any what anything it, not, i'm not even pointing out whether somebody's thespian or not because it could be anybody so i don't agree with that point because it could be somebody that is you know and they having issues mm -hmm. conceiving no but i'm just saying on the strength of if she had if she wasn't thespian and she was a regular hetero. And, and a, and then you could have picked the person you want and you could have did all that and did it the right way. Not true, because if she's heterosexual or whatever and she's having issues conceiving, and see, that's the that's the, what you're not understanding from a female perspective. There are some women, just but, like men, that have issues but we conceiving. Can't, I'm not going on. I'm not going off the hypothetical. She didn't say there that she had conception problems. She just was saying because she said because I'm a I'm a thespian. She went to a sperm bank. So if she wasn't thespian, she wouldn't have had to do that. That's I'm just going off of that preface. I don't know what her situation is. I don't, I'm not. I don't really want to get into her you know fertility yeah, issues that's, that's, or not that's a, that's a touchy sub subject it just if you was doing it the regular way it'd probably be a little bit easier but you can't go to this man now that you did you went your way you did it yeah. the way you wanted to that man ain't he ain't he ain't responsible for that next keep it moving like now you a single <laughs> mom sorry no no again you can't do nothing because again two women can't conceive so you should have been thinking all this out before you just went on went ahead and did all this you didn't ask the other your other thesmian partner hey if we if we were to separate would you help me take care of this kid? you didn't do none of that you didn't do none of that we so don't now, know what, now, we so don't now know let me ask she said let that me ask she said that the woman said yeah, that said, once we broke I'm up not, said, I'm, not I'm not obligated, obligated. so you could tell they didn't have that, that conversation they didn't have that talk yeah because she or that paperwork Right, that's yeah, what I'm that's saying. Or right. that pay, like, well, yeah, listen, if you leave me, yeah, see, you're because, still obligated to take care of this well, child. Because they're not legally married, she still isn't responsible. If they're a girlfriend and girlfriend, like, she's, she but, can't force her. But now, do you think, even if they were legally married, you, you still think that she's legally responsible? If they didn't have it in, I don't, I don't within, know enough within about a contract. That. No. Yeah, within not, a, no, I believe you got to have that within yeah, a contract. Yeah. You have to say that. And even though we marry, I'm going to be uh, find, uh, what is it, legally and physically responsible for this child. For this child. Yeah. Mm, ain't that something, boy? Ain't you yeah, learn something so new every day, So man. many things are changing now these days. Yeah. Um, 
so I wouldn't say that I know enough about that specific topic to really say. Yeah. You know, hey, this is your own podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think.